today on the show, we're finally going to talk about what Grant Morrison was really trying to say in Flex Mentality. So keep an open mind, because shit's about to get real. Flex Mentallo, part two. This review is for people who've read Flex Mentallo or people who want to know more weird shit about esoteric fucking whatever knowledge. Flex Mentallo is not for the casual observer. Flex Mentallo is for people who want to know the fucking truth, like what the fuck is going on. There's some information in this comic book that you might not be ready for. This review is not for people with a closed mind who are looking for some light reading for the weekend. If your definition of entertainment is glee and American idol and dancing with stars this isn't where you need to be the penultimate goal of this review is to tell you of what's really going on in this comic bam nailed it grant morrison is big deal okay his book the invisibles was a huge influence on the matrix and people don't even know about it so you may have read the comic you may not understand some of the levels that grant morrison is going to here for you to understand the stuff that i'm going to tell you about i need to fill you in on some other concepts fact number one you need to know that grant morrison is not only an amazing and brilliant writer in comics but he's also a chaos magician and he makes no bones about it. He talks about it openly and honestly in many interviews and videos. Google it. Google it. Fact number two. You need to know more about chaos magic. And according to Wikipedia, chaos magic is a school of the modern magical tradition which emphasizes the pragmatic use of belief systems and the creation of new and unorthodox methods. In layman's term, the chaos magician's core tenet is that Belief is a tool. Third thing you need to know is about sigil magic. Sigil magic is a very essential part of the chaos magician's trade. A sigil is essentially a representation of the magician's desired outcome. Here are some examples of sigils. <laughs> Number four, you need to know that Grant Morrison has taken the idea of sigil magic to a whole new level with something that he refers to as hyper sigils. A hyper sigil is an extended work of art with magical meaning and willpower created using adapted processes of sigilization. Flex Mentallo is intended to be a hyper sigil in a hyper sigil trilogy along with the invisibles and the filth. But we'll get more into that later, so just keep it under your hat for now. So now that we got all that out of the way, let's talk about Flex Mentallo. This book operates on many different levels. Let's go deeper. Each issue of this four-part miniseries corresponds to an age of comics. Each issue is filled with tropes from that era. Just look at the covers, look at the characters that are introduced, look at the storylines that are going. The fourth issue is about the age that we're in now which is what Grant Morrison would like to be the new age of comics and where comics are going to take us. Wally is an avatar for us, the reader. And Wally isn't happy despite all of his success. In the story, he's supposed to be this big rock star. According to the media, what's better than being a fucking rock star? You're a rock star? That's supposed to be the penultimate lifestyle, rock star. That's what you want to be when you're an artist. You want to become a rock star. Well, Wally reaches the point of rock star. He's an artist who ascends to that level and finds that it's ultimately meaningless. And he decides to go on this drug binge, which is essentially a spiritual journey to either find meaning in his life or end it all. That's his options right now because he's found that there's nothing at the end. Amy Winehouse, Jimi Hendrix, Kurt Cobain. But I mean, why do you think that all these celebrities and all these rock stars and all these models end up killing themselves? Because they're unhappy. They're trying to find meaning in their life and they get to this place where they're supposed to have meaning. Society tells them you're supposed to have meaning at this point, and they find that there's nothing there, and they're like, oh my god, I'm at the top, and there's fucking nothing here. I guess I should just fucking kill myself, because there you go. Wow. What Flex Mentallo teaches us is that you're not going to find meaning. You have to live your life with meaning. Meaning comes from you, not from somebody else, and not from success, and not from money, and not from whatever society tells you. It comes from you. It all comes from you. 
So what the fuck is magic, you ask? Because I keep talking about it and you're like, what the fuck is this crazy bitch talking about? Well, I'm gonna tell you because I'm cool like that. Is magic with a CK. Now, Aleister Crowley, who was a noted and very influential occultist from the turn of the century, added the K because he wanted to differentiate it from what he called stage magic, magic with a C. He defines magic as the science of art and causing change to occur in conformity with will. He goes on to explain that the science part of it is understanding oneself and one's conditions, and that the art of it is applying that understanding through action. The science of art and causing change to occur in conformity with will. Have you ever heard about The Secret? I know it was on Oprah and it's been on a bunch of other stuff. Well, The Secret is essentially talking about how to use magic. How to use one's will and intent to direct the energies of the universe. It's the same stuff, but they just don't use the word magic because there's such a stigma attached to it. So they use the word the secret instead. What all this boils down to is prayer that is empowered by intention and a specific action. Empowered, when you think about it, when you meditate on the idea of magic, you can start to see how things like art is essentially using the idea of magic. Have you ever laughed or cried at a movie? Have you ever been moved by like a painting or a drawing? An artist is causing a change in you through their intentional use of color and line and words, okay? And when you start to look at it like that, you start to see that magic is all around us, all the time. Everyone just blows it off. Ugh, puh, the Pieta. Puh, Bernini's Ecstasy of St. Teresa. Puh, Rembrandt or Mozart. There's a reason why artwork is supposed to be preserved, okay? Because it's fucking magical. It's got more meaning. So on another level, Grant Morrison has each issue corresponding with the stage in human mental development and how we react to comics during each of these stages. Wally, who's essentially an avatar for the reader, recollects all of his stages throughout this comic. In the first issue, he talks about childhood and how like the joy and the wonder of superheroes and how it's just like, you're a kid and you love shit and comics and yes, and just anything is possible. In the second issue, we talk about adolescence and how like, it gets awkward and weird and when sex is entered into the equation and growing up and how you still have this attachment because you're not quite an adult yet and you're still a child and you're trying to deal with all these things. In the third issue, it talks about reaching the adult stage where you kind of essentially leave comics and superheroes behind in favor of doing adult things like sex and drugs and having a job and whatever, buying a car. Now the fourth issue, which I, earlier stated is about the new age of comics where Grant Morrison wants comics to take us is about reaching enlightenment. It's about reconnecting with that childhood joy that you had while tempering it with the experience of age and adulthood. And then there's the core meaning. What this comic means at the deepest levels. And it's this scarily simple premise that will change your life when you embrace it. Flex Mentallo is a hyper sigil for having the strength to choose love over fear. Grant Morrison and I both believe that we're living in a fear-based society, and if you don't believe me, go turn on the news. See how you feel after watching an hour of that. There are people out there who want to control us, and they do it by manipulating us with fear and pacifying us with entertainment and convenience. Now let's talk about the big reveal when we find out who's behind trying to end the world and all this craziness. It's Wally. Wally's the villain. Wally is the villain. The main character is the villain in his own story. What? You want to know why? Because he, Wally, is choosing fear over love. He's become the villain in his own story because it all emanates from you. And you can choose to be the villain or you can choose to be the hero. And when you choose love, you become the motherfucking hero of your own personal legend. Oh, this shit is nuts, man. This shit's nuts, man. And you wanna know another thing? If you're not happy, it's probably your own fucking fault, okay? Cause you're probably a negative jerk. And it's all, it all comes from you. You make decisions to keep dramatic people in your life, negative people in your life, and all that sort of nonsense. It all comes from you. 
It's called personal responsibility. And we all need to start taking a little bit of that. And that's what I learned from Flex Mentalo. <laughs> So why is Wally the man in the moon? Why is Wally wearing this weird moon man mask, you ask? Here's a reason. Grant Morrison used this moon mask because in tarot, the moon is essentially a symbol for a night journey where you're going somewhere, but you don't know where you're going and you can't see in front of you. And because you can't see in front of you, you get all this tension, you get doubt, you become fearful. And that's what happened to Wally. And who comes to Wally's rescue? Who comes to stop him from destroying the world, AKA his life? It's Flex Mentalo, the hoaxer, and the lieutenant. And these people essentially are an allegory for the strength to choose love over fear, belief, and the search for the truth. And when you utilize these three different things, you can stop yourself from becoming the villain and start becoming the hero. Strength, bagel bites, <laughs> truth. <laughs> and I think a lot of us could use a lot more of that in our lives. You should write it down, okay? Strength. Choosing, choose love over fear. Believe in shit. And fucking search for the goddamn truth. Because that's all there is. As opposed to nihilism, believing in nothing. Grant Morrison thinks that believing in something is better than believing in nothing. Nihilism is negative and it's not really gonna add anything to your life. It's just gonna bum you the fuck out because if nothing means anything, then why the fuck are you here, okay? Shit means something. There's a reason why we're here. You just gotta figure it out. And if you don't understand what things are about, that's fine. You need to believe that one day you're gonna figure it out and you're gonna know why you're here. You have to find the meaning for your life because there is a meaning there. You might be thinking, Okay, well what about the Legion of Legions? What about the Absolute? What the hell is all that shit about? Legion of Legions is about superheroes are inside of us. We can be heroes. We can be more than what we are. We can aspire to be more than just shitty, pessimistic, little terrible humans, okay? We can try to hold ourselves to an ideal. And we're not perfect. We're never gonna be perfect, but you can try for Christ's sake. We all do shit that's fucked up and we all have weird shit that we do, but you need to recognize when you're doing stuff like that and try to stop yourself and say, hey, maybe I should do something that's not shitty. I don't know. Maybe I should try to be a good person. And that's what being a superhero is all about. About having power and not being corrupted by it. About having power and not being corrupted by it. A lot of people are terrible because they don't know that they're terrible. They don't think about it. They think to themselves, oh, I'm, I just got to do this because I got to do this and blah, blah, blah. And they're so wrapped up, so wrapped up in their own bullshit that they don't see why they're doing the things that they're doing and how they're doing destructive things. You need to recognize why you're doing the things you're doing. If you're doing something shitty, you should know it and say, hey, I'm doing something shitty and either embrace it or stop doing that sort of thing. Don't lie to yourself about it. And you want to know what the absolute is? What the absolute represents? The absolute represents just that. Absolute. When something is absolute, that means that it's at the end, that it's perfect, that it's the way it is. There's no evolving from that spot. And when you're not evolving, you're dying. Essentially, the absolute is spiritual death. When you stop evolving, when you stop being interested, when you stop having something that you're pursuing or care about or whatever, you're dying. Mm. You're nothing. You're not adding to anything. You're just in a static mode mm. and you're going to the end. And chaos magic is the opposite of that. Chaos magic is all about evolution, about pushing the boundaries. It's about trying new things and seeing where they take you and, and, and taking an interest, for Christ's sake. Take, <laughs> taking an interest. Take an interest. If you're bored, it's because you're boring, okay? There's so much shit out there that's awesome. Quit being boring. <laughs> All right. Okay, I get that. Well, what about the fact? This guy started this whole mess, throwing bombs everywhere. People have been chasing him around the whole comic. What the hell does he have to do with anything? Well, I'm going to tell you. The fact is... That Wally's unhappy. The fact is the search for the truth. These guys have been chasing him the whole time. He's the truth. And the truth is, Wally's fucking unhappy. And he's gonna end his life because he has no meaning. Okay? That's what it's about. Oh. He's a catalyst. He's the truth. So as I've said earlier in review, 
Flex Mentalo is a hyper sigil created by a chaos magician. Grant Morrison wants us to choose love over fear. Great things are never easy. But you know what? You can choose to be like Superman or Flex or Buddha or Jesus or the sun or whatever the hell you believe in. You can choose to be the hero in your own deal. It's up to you, bro. It's up to you. You can choose to be an asshole or you can choose to be awesome. It's up to you. You still think magic is a bunch of bullshit? Well, let's try an experiment. Grant Morrison is always telling people, you don't believe in this? Try it. Try it. Just try it. Just try it. Just try it. Just try it. That's all he's saying. So, let's do it. Here's some more proof that magic works. In the 90s, Grant Morrison was writing The Invisibles, which was a very important comic to him because it was another hyper sigil in his trilogy of hyper sigil. It wasn't doing great. It didn't have a lot of commercial success because it was over a lot of people's heads. Kind of like this fucking review. So he held a wankathon with his readers where he told them to masturbate at a specific time and on a specific day and to look at a specific sigil so his comic would do better so he could finish it. And it worked. And it worked. Okay. He held the wankathon. His comic was saved. The Invisibles could continue, and he finished it, and it was awesome. Well, I propose that we all try an experiment in chaos magic to see if it works. Here's my proposition to you. You want me to make more episodes. I want to make more episodes. So let's make that shit happen together. So I've created this sigil. I want you to write this sigil down on a piece of paper. Now what I want you to do is to take this sigil on this little piece of paper that you wrote, put it in your wallet like this. You get your wallet or your purse. Now, I want you to actively think about me making more episodes. I want you to think, oh, I wish Comic Book Girl 19 could make more episodes because I'd like to watch more episodes of her show. Just think about it. That's all I'm asking you to do. And that's it. Now, if you want to take the shit to the next level and add your own twist to it to make it more powerful and more personal, feel free. That's what chaos magic is all about. Do what you feel. So if you think there's a better way to do it, go right ahead. You don't even need to ask me. Just do it. And if you don't want to participate in my magic experiment, that's cool. Whatever. But what you can do is help me by subscribing to my channel, liking the video, liking my Facebook page, following me on Twitter and Instagram. Hey guys, we're getting ready to do a new segment called Ask Comic Book Girl 19 where you can go on Twitter and tweet me some questions. Where you can ask me questions like, who do you think draws Galactus the best? Why is Bill Sienkiewicz so great? What's your favorite movie? Who do you think Jon Snow's parents are? You can ask me this shit, and I'll fucking maybe answer it if I think it's a sweet question. But don't ask me personal questions, because I'm not going to fucking answer it. by Hellbound Apparel. Check the links below to get one of your own.